Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Clay ATC. I'm a certified licensed athletic trainer in the state of Texas. And today I want to talk about something that usually happens all the time. Um, now, one thing that I'm probably going to try to switch to is not editing the video because it just takes me forever. Uh, and I want to be able to have this stuff out. So you might, you might see me stumble, you might see me stop, you might see me freeze a little bit. Um, try to gather my thoughts, but I really want to just try to get this out and see, you know, how it does when it's just unedited. Um, so I want to talk today about TJ Go Down. Okay, so TJ Go Down was the game against the Vikings and the San Francisco 49ers when the head coach was telling one of the players to go down on the field after sustaining what it looked like to be an ankle injury. So I'm going to talk about it from the perspective of a high school athletic trainer. This stuff, although it could be on purpose, it most likely isn't. Um, because of the dedicated play clock in football, usually they have... Usually they're already going to be pressed for time. So what usually happens is the if the athlete is up and walking around, um, even if they're limping, the play clock is going to run. So what ends up happening is if the player cannot make it to the sideline in time for substitution, the player will go down on the field so the referees can signal um, a stoppage of play. That way they can stop the play clock. I can go out there and assess the injury and get the player off of the field to get them help. Um, and that way the team doesn't have to suffer taking a timeout or a delay of game because of the play clock. So this is definitely something that happens at the high school level it happens at the college level it obviously happens at the professional level and it it pretty much is part of the game um, so just kind of understand that this stuff happens all the time it's not anything that's abnormal um, and again it's it's used during suspected injuries so it's not something that's overused um, although it could be used like that, where I've had in the past, um, coaches use um, a fake injury to buy themselves time to either break the momentum or get their team a break if the other team is having a long drive um, and we can see that our team is kind of tired. So it does happen and it happens pretty often. Uh, but in this case, when I look at this video, uh, there's nothing malicious about it. Uh, if you look at the whole play, he was limping on the other end of the, the field. So that is something that we want to make sure that we get them the help they need. Just wanted to talk about TJ go down and just understand that that's part of the game and it happens a lot in sports. 